Hey there, what's up? Uh, I just wanted to share with you some things I learned from reading a book that was recommended to me by a friend who has since passed away, um, by Ken Wilbur, and it was kind of an intense read. I don't really know who will like it or who won't, but there were definitely some cool ideas and concepts that really kind of made me think and I wanted to share that with you guys uh, today. So here we go. Um, here's my title page. Um, it was written in 1996, and it was famous for marrying Buddha and Freud together. So I think the main theme of the book, the main idea by Wilbur in this book in particular was to join um, theology with like sciences and showing how those relate. And out of the book, these are some big ideas um, that I, I learned from it. I'd love to know what you guys think. So the patriarchy, the book starts off like hardcore talking about the patriarchy and why it's set up and where that came from. So it kind of really like grabs your attention. Like, oh, okay this guy is for real, we're, we're gonna be doing some learning, right? And then he goes into these different topics and I honestly kind of like fell asleep through the middle. It was, it was really like dense, really thick topics that really kind of related back to the beginning. Not really the patriarchy, but more on holons and the ascending versus descending um, cultures and Without further ado, let's get into it. Um, so the patriarchy, what I took away from this was that the nomadic societies, um, it was in their best interest to have women not partake in the production of food and development of food. And that decreased the uh, miscarriages. Uh, uh, the societies where women participated in the pastoral um, food development had a higher rate of miscarriage. And it was to their Darwinian advantage for the women not to participate. So because the women didn't participate, there was an obvious power structure, power struggle um, that gave the men the advantage um, for whatever reason. And he kind of goes into different like epochs throughout human history and how that may be changed or how we keep the system and go into the next one. And again, it was written in 1996. It's 2020 now. So um, kind of an interesting way to start the book. I, I thought it was a cool idea. Um, but I don't know if I necessarily agree or disagree yet. And Wilbur always talks about this matrix. So if you guys read this book, this is what he's going to be referring to almost uh, every other page, like there in the middle and towards the end. He talks about this matrix in particular, and he talks about the I versus we, and then there's a lot of it versus this side. So a lot of right hand versus left hand, which kind of brings me to my next, uh, the, the thing I got from the book was the ascending versus the descending of the battle of the one or the battle of the many? And is it more important for each human to realize their own worth and grow spiritually? Or is it more important for everybody to understand how we work together and fit together uh, as a society and make it smooth? Um, I guess the obvious answer would be both. We want both things, but it was an interesting idea, interesting concept to me. The next thing I learned was about holons, and these are kind of weird. You know, Ken Wilber says this is something that is itself a whole, but also a part of something else. So I tried to find pictures the best I could. Um, so like atoms, right? That's a holon but molecules have atoms, so then molecules are, are a whole new holon. And then organelles have molecules and atoms, so organelles are a whole new holon. 
And so they're part of something, but also itself something. And then he relates this to all sciences, psychology, sociology, and he even brought it into like human development and spirituality, which was kind of cool, kind of a cool idea. Right? You gotta have self care. And once you love and care for yourself, then maybe you can care about, you know, those around you. And then once you can care enough about those around you, then you can go to the world and then beyond. Uh, kind of a cool idea. Um, I don't know. And something else that stuck out was that evolution is self-transcendence. Um, mainly the ideas that change in consciousness and in and institutions, excuse me. Um, we have to have a change in our own consciousness as people, as well as the institutions that we run to really excel and reach this next hold on, if you will, as a society. Uh, kind of a cool idea, I'd agree. You know, even written in 1996, that's pretty true today. Um, but the biggest thing I really liked from this um, idea was that in order to transcend, you know, to go above and beyond, you have to incorporate all the things in the past, you know, and that's kind of something I don't really know how to do or have an answer for as to how we as a society grow according to Ken Wilber's models and ideas. You know, how do we incorporate all the struggles of the past in humanity for the last 2,000 years and make it better, you know? Because just getting rid of everything, he would argue, would kind of bring you back down a few notches. And it's super important to incorporate all the past learnings, all the past knowledge to grow and transcend. Uh, cool idea. Uh, I'm a teacher, so I'm kind of copied this model and I'm going to try to apply it this school year, especially with COVID going on. Um, you know, I want to try to help out, you know, see where kids are on this hierarchy, um, Maslow's hierarchy of needs combined with um, Lovinger and um, Holberg, kind of where kids are at as far as this goes. And I'm going to try it out this year. Let's, let's see what happens. And the last and final thought was uh, freedom. And everybody wants freedom. But do we want freedom from nature or with nature? And this kind of goes back to the whole ascending and descending. Right? Do we become separate from nature and become independent from it? We don't need nature. Or do we depend on nature and use it and become one with nature? Kind of a cool idea. Um, because according to Wilbur, over the last few thousand years, there's been this pendulum swinging back and forth, you know, from nature or with nature. And where we go from here is going to de determine how we as a society develop and go. And last but not least, I'll leave this in the comment section for you guys. I found a pretty cool 20-minute um, like video about the rise and fall of Ken Wilber. So if you're interested and want to know more about him, I'll share this link with you. I think Mark Manson did a great job really summarizing, you know, why Wilbur gained a lot of popularity, which I didn't know he was that popular back in the day, and, you know, what led to his downfall eventually. And it's kind of gives you a whole story of Ken Wilbur with, you know, such amazing ideas why didn't this catch on? And he kind of talks about it. So that's my first little opinion, I guess, uh, what I learned from the book. Uh, the next one I'm going to read, Mao Tse Tung, hope I said that right, with respect, Guerrilla Warfare. Um, let's see what this one's all about. Hope to see you guys later. Peace.